Welcome back, Canonites. It's been almost three months, but Cannon Fodder has finally returned. This issue opens with a look at the upcoming novel, Halo Envoy. We've gone over the details of the plot in previous videos, such as my recent breakdown of the cover art, but to sum things up, a UEG envoy is sent to the colony of Karo, located in the human sung Healy Joint Occupation Zone, to negotiate peace between the local sung Healy and humans. However, civil war now engulfs the sung Healy. The envoy, Melody Azikiwe, was also given a second task, secure the release of Grey Team, who have been held in stasis since the end of the Covenant War. And on top of that, there's a greater threat hidden below Karo of the Forerunner variety. Halo Envoy is slated for release on April 25th, just two weeks away. This will be a full print novel, so anyone who doesn't care for ebooks, rest assured you'll be able to secure a physical copy of this one. Given the subject matter and the author Tobias Buckle, I highly encourage picking it up. The next section is rather interesting, featuring a map of Planet Caro that will be included in the book. It shows a number of key locations from both Envoy and its prequel story in Halo Fractures, Oasis. Drawn by 343's own Sarah Campbell, this is a very welcome addition to the book that I imagine will help readers get a better sense of what's happening where throughout. Following that, we get an interview with author Tobias Buckle. Mr. Buckle has written three stories for Halo now, Halo The Cold Protocol, Dirt from Halo Evolutions, and Oasis from Halo Fractures. The interview focuses mostly on his fourth work, Envoy, but also gets into the process and ideas behind the other contributions. It's a great interview with a great author and fellow Halo fan. Be sure to check it out. The main body wraps up with a look at a couple new ships coming to Halo Fleet Battles, starting with the post-war Autumn Class Heavy Cruiser. This Autumn Class Heavy Cruiser represents a considerable leap forward in human warship design and is a testament to the UNSC's post-Covenant War technological prowess. Using improvements and modifications made to the Halcyon-class light cruiser for Operation Red Flag as a starting point, the naval architects at Sinoviet Heavy Machinery have added energy shield reinforced armor, powerful fusion drives, long-range targeting matrixes, and a state-of-the-art magnetic accelerator cannon. These new weapons and systems are continually being improved to give the UNSC a competitive edge in battles against Covenant remnants and other threats that may yet arise. The Autumn Class is one of my favorite post-war ships, and this new description reveals some interesting details, such as Sinoviet being the manufacturer behind the ship, you may remember that name from Halo Reach, and confirming that they do have shields like other post-war models. I can't wait to use them in fleet battles. Next up is the new Carrick Merchant Cruiser, an early Covenant warship. These ships of war are relics dating to the foundation of the Covenant, recovered from fleet estuaries to fight once again after its dissolution. Though ancient in human terms, the Carex reactors still burn with the fury of cage stars and their hulls shimmer with nigh unbreakable shells of energy. In the modern era, they have found a role as versatile cruisers and carriers, reinforcing naval battle groups and transporting armies under the flag of a dozen factions and would be warlords. The design definitely speaks to that early Songheili inspired design seen in a number of Halo 5 ships, and God is it massive next to the Autumn class. And that wraps up the main article, but we're left with just a little more. I'm not sure when this image started circulating I first saw today, but in this little ad for Halo Wars 2's monthly content updates, we see the silhouettes of two hunters. People started speculating, perhaps initially as something of a joke, that we could see hunter leaders. Well, Grim practically confirms that saying. Make sure you listen out for first details on an awesome new addition coming to the Halo Wars 2 experience that will open up an entirely new can of worms. Word has it that there might be some new, canonically intriguing details later this week for us to bond over. Worms? Bond? Yeah, if those aren't hints at a hunter-leader or a leader pair, sticking with the Megalagolo lore, I don't know what is. So, are you hyped for Halo Envoy? Any wargamers excited for the new fleet battleships? How about the idea of hunter-leaders? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching as always, and until next time, this has been Halo Cannon. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you liked this video, please consider giving it a thumbs up, subscribing, and sharing it around. You are the reason I get to keep doing this, so thank you, profusely thank you. If you want to dive deeper into Halo's lore, head over to the Halo Archive. It's a lore-based community that welcomes everyone from experts to rookies. No matter what your working knowledge, you'll be sure to find a friend and a good time.